Hey there YouTube, it's Math Bowler with my first of two autograph baseball videos that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you four recent autograph Pirates baseballs that I got that are a little bit on the lower end, but they're not really that low end. And then next video will be four other autographed Pirates baseballs that are on the higher end of the spectrum. So yes, even though this is my first of two videos, my lower end Pirates videos, this is not really a low end by any means. So we're going to start off first with Rocky Nelson. So Rocky Nelson is a member of the 1960 World Series Pirates. And when I realized I did not have him in my collection, I looked around. And even though this is not... Oh my gosh, I'm crazy. I'm thinking of my next ball. I was going to say, this one is JSA Authenticated. And I got a good deal on it. It's on old Leonard Coleman ball. You're not going to get this guy on a Manfred ball. <laughs> for obvious reasons. He had passed away in 2006. But yes, we have a member of the 1960... World Series Pirates team. We got Rocky Nelson added to the collection. I don't remember exactly what I paid for this one, but it was not a bad deal or else I wouldn't have purchased it because I was searching around for ones. Now this next one is not authenticated, but no one's forging it. And I got it for a sick deal. Like even with shipping and tax, it was under $10. I bet the seller was a bit bummed out when they sold this one. Ron Klein. He was not a member of the... World Series teams for the Pirates. He played in the 50s, most of the 50s. Uh, some of his time was not played as he was in the military. Uh, he also played in the late 60s for the Pirates for a couple years. He died in 2002. But what's cool about this is he's also a local guy. He is a local person, and I actually work with one of his relatives, so I've, act I've given that relative some Ron Klein autographs in the past. But I want to keep this sucker here. It's, you know, it has the best wishes inscription. It's on the side panel. The ball's got some toning, but not really much where the autograph is other than right below it. So it displays rather well. So yeah, I got a really good deal on a Ron Klein autograph baseball. Real good deal on a Ron Klein autograph baseball. All right, next up, and this is a bit of a sad topic. I don't, I don't know when this video is going to get shown, but, you know, tragic stuff happening with uh, Starling Marte's wife there. We got Starling Marte on a gold glove baseball signed right, right underneath the gold glove award logo there, so that's a cool purchase. And once again, I think I paid about $30 for this item, too. It wasn't very high. I wasn't looking for a... Specifically looking for a Starling Marte, but whenever you can get one for under 30 bucks, you know, it's it's worth a deal. So I went with that one. And my fourth and final baseball for this video. Remember, my next video, I'm going to show four higher-end autographed Pirates baseballs. I'm really looking forward to that one, but this one makes this piece amazing. This was a Facebook purchase. It's a 2013 All-Star Ball, which these particular baseballs, those of you in the autograph baseball community know that uh, the 2013 autograph All-Star Balls, a lot of them, the leather was just crap, you know, and the autographs would bleed. Well, this one, that's not the case. The autographs have held up very well. This is signed by Jeff Locke and Jason Grilly. Jason Grilly added the inscription, first All-Star Game. And there's no question about authenticity for either of these guys. Those look just like the other Jeff Locke autographs and Jason Grilly autographs that I have. So I paid, it was either $15 or $20 for this. It was crazy. $20 seems about right. But I bought three baseballs off this seller, so I got a little bit of a discount, <laughs> which is crazy. So I think it was marked $20. I might have ended up paying $15 because I bought a few baseballs off this person. So, yeah, both of these players, you know, uh, were all-stars in 2013. It was their only all-star team. Jeff Locke was a very important pitcher for the Pirates from 2011 to 2016. 13, 14, and 15 were the playoff years. And Jason Greeley was very instrumental as well. He played for the Pirates from 2011 to 2014. He was very instrumental in their 
big rebound and playoff years. So feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think. I always appreciate it. if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.